Hello. The first hymn today is To Be a Pilgrim, which needs no introduction really, which is why I'm going to give it one. Uh, the words are of course by John Bunyan, and I'm pleased to say that I'm playing it from the new version of the Ancient and Modern Hymn Book, which has restored the line about Hobgoblin, which had been excised from earlier hymn books. The tune is um, by uh, Rayform Williams, or by insofar as it's another one which he arranged from a folk song for the English Hymnal of 1906. Um, if you have a look on YouTube or if you have uh, any folk albums sitting around, it's actually from a uh, tune called, a song called Our Captain Cried All Hands, which, uh, as with a hundred other folk songs, is about a sailor who uh, loved and left um, a shore girl, um, was not necessarily uh, particularly gallant towards her, and so she is singing this lament. Uh, it is a cracking tune, uh, and it's quite, if, if you're interested in this sort of thing, it's actually quite worth um, seeking it out, because you can see what Vaughan Williams did to the melody to transform it into this rather lovely hymn. second hymn is Purify My Heart. This is from um, much later in the 20th century, of course, and I chose this one because I thought it would go well with today's readings.
really one of those hymns that would be better played on the piano rather than the organ. Um, but as you can imagine, piano tuners are not exactly considered an essential service at the moment, and so I thought I would spare you the sound of a rather out-of-tune piano right now. The third hymn is uh, Dear Lord and Father of Mankind, and this, like the first one, is a request. As always, please do keep sending in your requests and your suggestions for hymns that I might play. Uh, and this is uh, another another tune that leads very little introduction. Uh, the music is by Charles Parry, uh, well known for Jerusalem and many other things, uh, and it is named Repton after the public school in Derbyshire, South Derbyshire, um, which it was written for. still small voice of calm at the end. I believe that uh, John Greenleaf Whittier, who was uh, the author of the words, I believe he was an American clergyman of the late uh, 19th century. For a communion anthem today, um, I am sure that if we were um, singing in St Mary's today, then there would only be one thing that the choir would want to sing given today's reading, and that is Thomas Tallis's If You Love Me.
last hymn I'm going to play, which I thought would be very appropriate for current circumstances, um, God be with you till we meet again. This is um, another Ray Fawn Williams tune, uh, one of my absolute favourite tunes ever. I should, I should try not to break down in tears as I play it. Uh, words by the um, uh, 18th century poet, uh, sorry, 19th century poet Jeremiah Rankin. Um, asked for particular hymns do keep the requests and suggestions coming you can email me or email via the parish office for the final voluntary I'm going to play a little piece by um, Louis James Alfred Lefebvre Velli who many of you will know as the uh, French chap French 19th century um, organist a large church in Paris uh, who wrote these rather uh, silly fairground organ type pieces. Uh, he was apparently a, an absolute ma master of the art of improvisation and his uh, service music uh, that he improvised was meant to be very serious, very holy. He just never wrote any of it down. Uh, this one is not as daft as uh, the umpar par ones that you might know. Uh, it's a, a rather sweet uh, little pastoral, uh, but with a few uh, trademark Lefebvre Valley harmonies uh, and a, a little skittish flute line over the top. 